Wolf's Hole, the world's first furry porn horror. Actually, no, it's, it's 1987's Vilci Buddha, which still means Wolf's Hole, but it's not a furry thing, and, and nor is it a porn, and it may not even be horror. It is a mystery, though, and, and you're stuck here in the cold with it, wondering at the mystery of why you're watching this. So enjoy. A group of teens are carted up on a ski lift to be abandoned in the snowy waste of Czechoslovakia. It's all part of an elaborate training program where the kids must learn to spend their days skiing and then their nights eating beans in a cabin with Grandpa. Okay. And they say America has a bad education system? As if this program wasn't strange enough, things only get weirder at the old wolf hole when the kids notice the training staff leering at them, cringing away from fire, and rolling in the snow on moonlit nights. Man, some people just really like snow. <sighs> Grandpa reveals he and the two trainers are in fact visitors from the stars. And no one is going to go back home because there are just too many kids for the kid elevator to carry all the kids back down to town. Grandpa insists that the kids must pick one teen in the group to kill if they want to leave. Who among these innocent kids will be sacrificed for the good of the many? Him. It's him. The annoying rich kid, kill him. He's the biggest, keyword biggest, most aggravating asshole in this movie. He has no redeeming qualities. He bullies the others. He looks like that. You could kill him and lose enough weight to allow all the remaining kids, the gun lighter, the dog, the old man, the snowman with a corpse in it, uh, I don't know, the rat in the basement, plus uh, a chest full of pirate treasure to ride on the kid elevator all in one trip and make it back home well before the rest of the alien invasion occurs. Easy. Is this even a choice? Give me the ski pole, I'll do it. Uh, this movie kind of got to me. Wolf's Hole certainly has an interesting way to it though, but it doesn't really go anywhere on that way. I got the feeling I was way, way out of my cultural death here and was probably missing a load of context to make sense of this movie. On its face, it's just a bunch of kids arguing and then palling around while adults browbeat them in a cabin in the snowy waste of Czechoslovakia. Does that sound like a good time to you? Ah, uh, maybe. Always the nerd, I did some research, and apparently the movie evokes the sense of mistrust and panic that was felt when the Warsaw Pact communist countries invaded Czechoslovakia. Ah, the Their more liberal communist system. Ah, oh, well, is it? Hey, hey, wake up. Okay, yeah, I know. Right. So, yeah, if you, if you don't have, like, a faint interest in communist history or a background in modern European history, you're going to be mostly left out in the cold with Wolf's Hole, unfortunately. For those of us shiverers looking into the movie's windows, we're left with at least a few good things to take our mind off the cold. There's a good cast of characters. They use actual real teens to play teens in this film. It's a rarity. Really annoying teens. Good grief they're annoying, but, but kudos for the authenticity. They did a great job with them. Throw in some great electronic music, eerie moments, and admittedly spooky visuals like the alien kids flopping around in the snow. And this film can't be considered a total waste of time. I give Wolf's Hole three wolf heads out of five. Pork chop sandwiches. Oh shit, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? Go, get the fuck out of here, you stupid idiot. Fuck, we're all dead! Get the fuck out! G.I. Joe!